We're going to switch into local theater now this morning. Key West Fringe has actually been performing Shakespeare in schools across Monroe County. Now, last year was the first year of the Shakespeare in Schools program, and they had such a powerful response from teachers and students that they decided to continue it this year, and that will continue into the 2014 school year. We're going to talk this morning with one of the creators of the program, and that is Judy Hadley. Judy, thank you so much for being here with me today. Oh, well, thank you for acknowledging a program that we have been so positively rewarded for. And it is one of those encounters that, as a teacher, which I was for over 30 years, you offer something and see that light in the kid's face where it clicks and you're hooked, mm -hmm. as well as the, the child. So it is one of those wonderful opportunities that as a teacher, I knew that most kids don't like Shakespeare because it's a process that they're reading in class, out loud, words that are very strange. But Shakespeare was performing his plays for illiterates. He never meant it to be read. They couldn't have read it. Mm -hmm. It was meant to be performed. That option isn't always possible with the schools and the timeline and the crunch to get exams all done. But one of the things that I knew is that if you show the kids that Shakespeare is not exactly what they think, mm -hmm. but a much bigger image, they usually find, hey, Shakespeare's not so bad, and, and that's what we're really excited about. One of the things that we tried to do was find little short scenes and made sure that we could have something that was a cohesive moment in the play. We can't do the whole play. Some of his plays are two and a half, three hours. <laughs> that's not going to work. So if we can just take a scene or a moment and make sure they can understand Shakespeare had so many of these little bites of what people are like and how they react to the world. So Tammy Shanley is the other person that worked with me on this and she and I go in the first day. We have the kids either in a single classroom where we are performing every time that teacher has a class or we go into an auditorium and we have all of the students that are in the different classes at that time. We've done both ways. Mm -hmm. One of the things then is we're going to explain Shakespeare first and the fact that this man was able to accomplish so much in so, such a short time, but that also his works were very difficult to collect and find because he never even kept a copy of his own plays. Mm -hmm. It was really a search for them to set up that first folio. But one of the things that the kids, when they fill out their little forms for us at the end of what they got from the class or the questions that they had or the plays, it's always amazing how they're going, gosh, I didn't know Shakespeare was funny. Oh, man, I, I understood that. That wasn't hard to understand. I didn't think I would be able to follow it. but. Mm -hmm. I understood what they were saying and doing and one of the things that really matters is the kids understand, oh, he's not what I thought he was. Right. You're really opening their eyes up to a whole new world, <laughs> Judy. And, and now how many students have been impacted by this you? This last year, we were able to see over 900 students well, in great. the Largo Schools was our first stop, Key West High School was our second stop. And then we finished off at Marathon, both the high school and the junior high classes came. Mm -hmm. And we were just amazed at the support the teachers gave us, the interest that the students showed, the questions that they were interested in knowing. Mm -hmm. But I also have to give credit to the fact that I have a terrific cast mm -hmm. of characters. Last year we had five people. This year we had nine people, mm -hmm. so it was a little more difficult to make sure everybody could be at the same place at the same time, leaving and loading and mm -hmm. getting all the costumes done. And this year we really did have 
much better costuming because we got several helps. We're on the uh, Key Arts, um, Key West Arts Council and the Dogwood Foundation and the Keys Energy that helped us with grants that we really appreciate. But the thing that also made a difference is that we could costume a little more. Last year we were literally kind of pulling out of our own closets trying to find mm -hmm. something that would be appropriate or mm -hmm. would work. Right. So, so you, you had a lot of support it sounds like then oh, this year and you'll helped. continue continue to have that support. Now Judy we're running out of time this morning but before we go there's something that will be taking place at the bottle cap so that the public actually has the chance to see this. We started that day. last year because so many of our friends wanted to see it but we were only performing in the schools. So the bottle cap opened their doors for us and we performed last year and we will be there Thursday night at 5:30 and we'll also be performing at the um, Tropical Gardens uh, Midsummer's Dream. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mike Shields, for inviting us. And so you'll have two chances for the public to get there. Well, wonderful. Well, hopefully everybody can make it out to the Shakespeare in Schools program sneak peek. Judy, thank you for being here <laughs> oh, with me this morning. I thank wish you, you. wish you much success with the program. It's been terrific. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for tuning in with me this morning. I hope that you'll be able to join me back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone, and have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.